Good morning everybody, hope you're doing well this morning. Hope you guys stay tuned to the channel for more second date updates on the tents. Uh, look out for my uploads Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And uh, yeah, enjoy! This is the second date update on the tent with Ramiro, Pebbles, Melissa, and Leroy, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Hi, Catherine. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm all right. Yeah, you're looking for uh, yeah. you're looking for Jimmy. I am. What happened? Okay, so we've been hanging out for like a month, mm -hmm. and I think I know what I did to get him upset and to kind of ghost me. Oh, okay. What, what, what was it? What'd you do? So at the time that I did it, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But after thinking about it, I I get where he's coming from. What was it? So, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, the suspense. So Jimmy was in the bathroom, but when he came over to us, I introduced him to my ex-fiance as my friend. Wait, where were you guys? Um, we were at a restaurant. Oh, okay. And, yeah. And so Your my ex-fiance ex was there? <laughs> Yeah, he came in with a bunch of his uh, friends. Awkward. Okay. And when Jimmy came over, you said, this is my friend? Yeah. So, wait, hold on. <laughs> was the relationship official at that point, or? Um, not officially official. Like, we didn't have the talk, but it was more implied official. Mm -hmm. and wow, what a label. I know. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> at least that's what I'm saying to defend myself. But okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He said that I could have said, this is my date, or just, this is Jimmy. Yeah. So he, he said the thing my friend made it sound like I was distancing myself from him. Well, I got to be honest. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, you know, you, you could just, just saying, this is Jimmy. Boom. Right there. That could imply a million different things. But saying, this is my friend, that implies one thing. Right. That implies... Especially to your ex-fiance, you should have freaking straddled Jimmy and be like, "This is oh, damn. this is Jim." But anyway, um, <laughs> so okay, are you willing to so many freaking labels? Like you said, Pebbles, are, are you willing to go from implied official to officially official if he if like that's his that's his thing? If like if he says yes, oh. I will, but I want to make it official. Yeah, definitely. I mean, even though we didn't label it, I'm not seeing anyone else, and I'm. Like ninety nine percent sure that he isn't either. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, stay quiet. We're gonna call him right now. Hello. Hi, is this Jimmy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, beautiful. Um, so Jimmy, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Can I can I explain why we're calling? It's actually a good reason. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> like. What what is this censoring service? No, we're we're real human. service. Yeah, no, it's it's Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're a radio show. We we got your phone number from a girl who wanted us to call you and ask you something. Okay, uh, look, you know, I need you to like uh, call our customer service number. You know, if you <laughs> want to make an appointment, you know. No, we're not. It's not a it's not a work thing. We got your phone number. From a girl who wanted us to call you and basically ask you out on a date. And we'll pay for a date if you say yes. So we'll, we'll tell you the girl's name. She feels like you have a good chemistry. So if you agree to go on a date with her, just say yes. And then we'll let you decide the restaurant, the day, the time, all that stuff. And we'll reserve the whole restaurant just so you guys can have one date. See if you get along. Uh, free food and free drinks. Um, okay. I mean, this is weird. Yeah. But it's free food and drinks, right? So, you know, I don't care where I'm going with them. <laughs> Did you say, like, I have to pick a girl? Like, No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you the girl. So the, the, the girl that called us, it has to be with her. Her name is Catherine. <laughs> oh, oh, I keep fighting. You got to be kidding me. Uh, in that case, I'm going to pass. But th thank you, though. Well, well, hold on. Why, why are you passing? She told us. So she said you guys went out before, and that you were a little upset when she when she introduced you to her ex fiance as 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 a friend. Is that what it is? I mean, that upset for me was like you know five seconds. I mean, mm -hmm. 
you know, I, I don't give a f about that, you know? Then why are you blowing her off? I mean, does she really need to know? <laughs> <laughs> it would it would be nice to give her at least some closure because right now she's a little confused, especially because she thought it was the ex fiance whatever friend thing. Is it is it something bad? Oh my god! For me, it was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? All right, all right. So, you know we. Catched up online, you know, we're really both into, like, health and fitness and stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hey, she's got a good-looking body, great smile. I was like, all right. So, you know, kind of met up and went to a restaurant, and I mean, look, been around. I mean, I've had a lot of girlfriends who give me shit over going to the gym or, you know, not, not eating like shit, you know, when we went out to dinner. Mm -hmm. But I mean... You know, she was just like me. You know, it was great. I mean, she's conscious <laughs> about her health. Great smile. We laughed a lot. Yeah. So I don't okay. So I, right yeah. now, right now, you're giving her all um, positive uh, the compliments. What did she do wrong? <laughs> oh my God. So I think she would hold her farts in during the day because whatever. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I mean, this. Like, on. What's happening? Whenever we would have adult sleepovers, the second she fell asleep. Her ass just exploded. I don't <laughs> know. I mean, it's worse than my dog. Oh. <laughs> so because she was farting in her in her sleep, that's why you ghosted her? Oh, look, look, look. I'm not talking normal farts, okay? I'm talking protein farts. I mean, these are the worst. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> protein farts really do smell bad, in case you don't know. that They smell like, like bad eggs. <laughs> so listen, anyway, um... Catherine's on the phone right now, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Maybe you could. Hey, hey, Catherine. Yeah. Catherine? Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> you're ghosting me because of a little gas. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my Catherine, God. A little gas? I mean, are you f cooked? I mean. How bad were the farts? Oh, my God. But bad, bad enough, I ghosted her. You know what I mean? I mean, look, you know, you're, you're hot, but God, the smell that comes out of you oh is f unbelievable. <laughs> Well, if it was so bad, then why didn't you tell me? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I didn't tell you the first time because I thought it was like kind of a one-time thing. I'm like, all right, you know, I'll let it pass. But then after that, I thought maybe you were like sick or something. <laughs> I mean, it's been every time. I mean, I, you know, I wake myself up gagging. I mean, that's... So why didn't you um, try and have a nice conversation about her, her gas in the morning with her or something? Oh, yeah, you know. It's easy to be a Monday morning quarterback when, mm -hmm. you know, you're not the one in the bedroom who's gagging all night. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is it really that bad? Give us like an, like. So imagine you're cozy under the covers. You know, you got the Netflix going, you got candles going, whatever. You're chilling. Everything's good. You got your cozies on. And I mean, all of a sudden, you know, you go to like move the sheets and just. I don't know. It's like a bomb exploded. It's like some sort of biohazard <laughs> thing. You know? <laughs> I so, mean, it was. But I mean, that's my not. God, listen, was, listen, listen, listen. Like that's not her personality. I mean, it's not. She's not a bad person. She just had a gassy night. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> a gassy night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, look, not gassy nights. I mean, gassy every day. I mean, it's like a dog is oh, in my mouth. Oh, oh my shoot. god! You're being so. Extra right now. Hey, look, I'm being f***ing honest. I mean, did that one time you came home from work. You know, you took a na nap on the couch before dinner. I mean, look, the living room smelled like a garbage truck. Oh I'd God. open a window, tear the place out. Uh, look, you're not farting. You're polluting. You're okay. polluting the air. There's listen, a difference. Listen, listen. How about if yeah, Catherine yeah, switches protein powders, if that's what's causing this? Maybe maybe you can discuss, maybe you guys can go make a date out of it. You go to a uh, G, no. G, G, no? No, no, no get him. her some potpourri, some spray, I, do I don't the know. <laughs> that's fine by me, you know. Ever since I blocked your disgusting ass, I've been able to sleep through the night without tasting <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, go to hell. <laughs> yeah, wash your ass. The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, 810, and 910. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot969boston.com. 
And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the second date update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Make sure you have it to set on all so you don't miss any of my uploads. Have a nice day, and I'll catch you guys next time.